follow these two teams is because, um... Ooh! He's gone! Whoa! What's up guys, John back with another reaction video and today we are reacting to Army versus Navy. Uh, a little bit of background about myself, I grew up in Hawaii and uh, if you guys don't know, Hawaii is uh, pretty much the whole island is a military base. So I grew up around the military my whole life. I actually went to an elementary school on a naval base near my house. Actually, I grew up near Tua Tangaloa's uh, hometown, so um, I was there first. Obviously, I'm older than him, so uh, I, you know, there's a uh, naval base around that area. I went there for elementary school. I worked at Hickam Air Force Base. I worked at Pearl Harbor. Um, my good family friends, um, all retired Army, retired Navy officers. Um, my best friends are in the Navy. Um, you know, uh, or they are civilian contractors for the DODs. And I moved to San Diego. I bought a house near Miramar uh, Marine Corps base. So I, I am surrounded by military my whole life. So I have a high appreciation for the American uh, military. Um, so um, this game actually means uh, a lot. You know, everyone knows this game means a lot to, you know, the country. Um, so it has a lot of history. Let's dive into this game. Let's get into the reaction. All right. So before we react to the game, I always want to check out the uniforms because the uniforms that they wear to this game has a lot of history and um, it means a lot. So I always watch the videos that introduce the uniforms to get a little bit more of uh, some detailed information before I watch this game. So let's get into it. Today, our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. Today, our nation saw evil the very worst of human nature. Yeah, 9-11. with the best of America. A great people has been moved to defend a great nation. Nice. Look at the army uniforms. While the president's words echoed across the airwaves, American Special Forces soldiers of what would become Task Force Dagger deployed to Afghanistan in the weeks after 9-11. Wait, did they actually bring these uniforms over there? Or was this shot like in a desert in the U.S.? Comment if you guys know. Man, that's cool. Like, the Special Forces uniforms. Man, that's, that's a nice color. These operators linked up with anti-Taliban of the Northern Alliance to destroy Al-Qaeda and defeat the Taliban. The members of Strength Task Force Dagger were thrust into a scenario for which they had trained, but had never experienced. Look at those Some gloves. These soldiers went to war on horses, despite not knowing how to ride. Oh. While others flew helicopters at elevations so high that the crew and passengers required oxygen. Their incredible this must be like the training the center that they have. And the Taliban. Utilizing state-of-the-art communications and targeting equipment, Members of Task Force Dagger called in airstrikes against Taliban targets while coordinating horse-mounted charges and ground attacks. Oh, they did it in the, the stadium? Most <laughs> chapters in the war on terror. What began in the mountains of Afghanistan culminated less than a month later with the liberation of the capital city of Kabul when the Taliban fled before the American-supported Northern Alliance. In Liberty Park, New York City, America's response monument stands to represent these brave soldiers who were the tip of the spear. Oh, that's cool that they have a statue there. Commemorating the Special Operations Forces, the statue is subtitled De Oppresso Lieber, the 
motto of the United States Army Special Forces, which means to free the oppressed. On December 11th, in America's game, just over 20 years after 9-11 and 11 miles from ground zero, we honor this brave group of soldiers, America's best, who defended our great nation. Nice. Uh, yeah, that's that's really cool history that I didn't I didn't know. Um, I was a senior in high school when 9/11 happened, so I, I remember pretty vividly, um, you know what what I was doing during that time. So it's cool that they're remembering that and the and then the fallen or the people who served during that time. So let's go take a look at what Navy's uniform has to say. Oh, first thing, aircraft carriers. Some of us were not born to stand so on cool. solid ground. Some saw the sea and the skies and dared to endeavor into the unknown. Looks like it's uh, based on a aircraft. Making an agreement with themselves. Look at those country, shoulder pads. Sick. Strike fighter defending. wing of Not just with boots on the ground. <laughs> but with steel <laughs> I, I want. Did they really put paint that on the side of the 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 plane? Well, that's cool. Nice. So if you guys, uh, if you got, if you don't know, one of my um, high school classmates actually is a Blue Angels um, pilot, or he was, because they, you know, they rotate every couple of years. But he was a, he was a, a Blue Angels uh, pilot, and that was kind of cool to see. Um, you know, so I did grow up with a lot of like Navy kind of uh, naval people. Um, so I'm probably leaning towards Navy for this game. Uh, but I know that Army's been doing well for the past several years. So let's get into the real game. Okay. I think this will, oh, MetLife, New Jersey, right? Uh, New York Stadium, the Giants and the Jets. That's kind of cool. I like how they change venues. Man, those uniforms are sick. I, both of them are, are nice. Uh, I love the meaning behind it, the tradition. And the FA 18 Is that, Super Hornets that's so cool. Coming out with their team. Nothing screams more USA than this game, right? <laughs> and from West Point, the Black Knights of Army. Is that? The, that guy looked like he was like Captain America. <laughs> wow, each of them are carrying a flag. Oh, and then the helicopters that they used during the war. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I, I saw the... Um... Oh, that's cool. Uh, I saw the, you know, the, I think Navy has the lead on this, uh, rivalry. I think like 62 to like 53 or something like that. But the reason why I don't really like follow these two teams is because, um, ooh, he's gone. Whoa, army. Hey, that's cool, because I think last year's game, there wasn't anyone in the stand, so this is kind of cool. Um, the reason why I don't really watch these teams is because they haven't really been doing that well lately, right? So, um, and the style of play is just um, a lot of options for both of the teams, so, um, you know, nowadays it's more like um, option reads and then you, you pass it. But for this, you're pretty much running the ball most of the time. And occasionally you'll pass it, so um, you know it, 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 it 
it's usually not as exciting because there's not too much passing on it. Um, so that's why um, I haven't really been following. Oh! 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 It looked like he's going to get a touchdown right there. But yeah, a lot of option plays um, for both teams here. Touchdown! Navy! Wow, he, he was stopped at like the three yard line and then he just pushed his way in or, you know, he got help. But I mean, that's crazy. Like I say in every game, I, you know, I really want to see a good game. So I hope this is really close. And those uh, Navy helmets, they're nice. Okay, so uh, Navy stopped them. 10-7. to 7. Oh, wow, that was like at the one yard, less than the one yard line almost. Like, wow, that's... And it's an inside trap going nowhere. Maybe yeah, it's really hard to move the ball when you're, you're, uh, you're um... Oh, nice, Zach. Uh, your, your main goal is, uh, you know, option running uh, from the one yard line. It's, it's, it's also kind of predictable. Right, the type of offense that you're playing. Um, you still need to cover. I mean, yeah, for sure. But still need to cover the receivers. But um, you know, majority of their their plays are are run plays. So you kind of you kind of know what what's coming. Oh, missed! It looked like. Yep. Oh, barely missed too. Finally, he throw it. Late hit? That, that, that was a late hit, really? I mean, he just kind of nudged him a little bit, but... Wide open! Yeah. Nice, nice. That defense was not phased. All right, couple of field goals for Army. Uh, Navy missed one. Man, Navy's record is not good. Three and eight. Definitely not good. I mean, they usually win these games, right? I mean, uh, you know, according to the record, but... Um, oh. Uh, yeah. I, I I think uh, yeah I've been watching Army oh double reverse oh he broke okay oh he almost got in too yeah I think uh, Navy usually wins it when I was growing up Navy was always like winning the, these games so it wasn't really um, that fun to watch but. Uh, I guess Army has been willing, winning the last couple, several games. I think like four or five games in a row they've, they've won, um, like back to back to back. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm pulling for Navy for this year. I don't know. I mean, you never know when these rivalry games, but, you know, Army is supposed to be like the better team. So, we'll see. Oh, what a... Oh, nah. The formation was interesting. We're trying to draw them offsides. 
in the second half. Tyler oh, almost got him. I think he's close to the first mm, Maybe got it. Yeah, he got it. Looks like. Woo! Three and out. Oh, he almost got it. Third and two. Okay, here he goes. A punt. Oh, fake! Oh! Did he get it? Wow, big guy can jump. Oh yeah, you got it. It's hard to see in that angle. Alright, Navy has the lead. Let's see what happens. Wow. Oh, offsides. Oh, was it false start? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 61. Field goal. And it's good. Okay, Navy had the lead. 17 to 13. Let's see if Army can come back. Ooh, big dude. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, there wasn't anyone there. Maybe the close losses we talked about at Houston. Dropped the pass with two and a half to go. SMU, four chances to tie, couldn't get it done. Yeah, Navy doesn't look like that bad of a team, but uh, maybe some circumstances, uh, game circumstances, I, I don't know. I didn't watch those games, so I have no idea, but... Uh, if anyone was at the game, let me know down in the comments. How was it? How was the atmosphere? Um, you know, I I think this is a special game. Um, you know, the the cadets that go go there um, and watch the game. Oh, that was almost intercepted. Like it's it's totally different than than a regular college game. So, all right. So if anyone was at the game, let me know down in the comments below. What was your experience? We want to hear from you. Um, because obviously, um, you know, this isn't a game that just anyone can go to, so, um, or it might be hard to get tickets to, I'm not sure, but, uh, let me know. Alright, so, I guess, let's see if they can stop him right here. There it is! I think uh, Navy got this one. Yep. Good job. That was like a first win in a couple in a while, like in, in years, I think, in the past several years. All right, guys. So I just reacted to Army Navy. Um, it was it was a decent game. It wasn't like super exciting or anything like that. Um, just a lot of running. Not too much passing, as uh, we all know, option teams are, you know, prone to running a lot more and more predictable. So, um, you know, that's why it's kind of hard to get, like, super excited. But definitely love the uniforms. Let me know if I've missed anything about the uniforms or maybe, you know, you have some more information that you would like to share with all of us. Uh, that you know some people might not know about uh, leave it down in the comments below um, again I will try to do every single bowl game this year um, and react to that so uh, make sure you like subscribe and when I post in the community tabs you know which 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 games that you want to see me react to the most make sure you guys vote or comment so that I know which ones you guys want to see me react to. So, so that's it for today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Tee!